Hey guys, what's up? Do you want to learn how to take better photos and videos today? Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about the exposure triangle and exactly how that'll help you do that. Now, the first side of the triangle that we're going to talk about is aperture. Now, we covered this in a previous video, so if you want a little bit more details, go check that out now. Basically, aperture is how wide your lens opens up. The wider the hole, the more light that's let in. The smaller the hole, the less light that's let in. Now, this affects a few other things, but as far as the exposure triangle goes, that's what you need to know. The next side of the exposure triangle we're going to cover is shutter speed. Now shutter speed is the amount of time that the shutter is open and that the sensor is exposed to light. This will affect a couple different things, but all you need to know for now is the faster the shutter speed, the less light that's let in, and the more light you need. The slower the shutter speed, the more light that's let in, and the less light that you need. The last side of the exposure triangle we're going to cover is ISO. And ISO is basically just artificial light. And the biggest thing you need to remember with this is the higher the number of ISO, the grainier your pictures will be. Now the threshold is a little bit different depending on your camera, but for the most part, you want to keep it as low as possible. If you want to take better photos today, you definitely need to master these three elements so that you can take perfectly exposed photos on the fly at any time. Now real quick, let's jump into the camera and show you a few things that'll change as well when you're playing with these settings. And I'm going to use my shirt as the background here so you can see through the lens. This is aperture. This is wide open, which the lower the number, the wider it is. And you can see as the number goes up, the smaller the hole gets. So this lets in a bunch of light, and this doesn't let in barely any. Now this is going to demonstrate shutter speed on a camera as well. I don't know if you can see, but in here is the shutter. And when you take a photo, it opens and closes. Now that was a long shutter speed, and this one would be a little quicker. Keep your eye right there. You can see the sensor exposed for a second. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is look at how changing our different settings will also change our image. First thing we're gonna do is change our ISO. If we bump our ISO up slowly, the image gets brighter and brighter. Obviously, you only need to turn that up as far as it needs to go. The next thing we do is change our f-stop. If we change our f-stop, the darker our image gets, but the more of our image it's in focus. So that's what it's set at now, but you can see as we speed that up, it also gets darker or we slow it down and it gets a little brighter. Now this also has the same effects on photos. So mastering these for photo translates to video as well. But with video, there's just a few extra things you wanna keep in mind. That's all you got for today. So take this knowledge and go practice. See how changing your different settings works for you not everyone likes dark and moody. Not everyone likes light and airy. You gotta pick your style and run with it and figure out what camera settings work best to get you those style photos every time. Hopefully I'll see you soon, but until next time, I appreciate you. Peace.